Hi everybody. So I hope that you're having a lot of fun with your foreign exchange students who are visiting from Paris, France. I am sure you're doing a great job with them, teaching them a lot about America and the way that we do things here. And it's very important, boys and girls, that you are sure that your bears are learning things while they are here. They need to be attending classes with you. They need to be learning all of the things that you know. Now, one of the things that I highly recommend that you do with your bears is practice the alphabet. The alphabet is very important for bears also. Now, today I thought I would practice with Lammy, but I'd like you to get your foreign exchange student and have him or her close by so that you can teach them today. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to do some alphabet games with Lammy. Right, Lammy? Yes. All right. It's very important for Lammy to learn her alphabet letters also. Now, with Lammy, um, a few things that you could do is get all of these alphabet letters that we sent home. And we even recommended that you practice cutting these out and practice looking over them and recognizing each of your uppercase and lowercase letters. This would be a great thing to get out to do an alphabet game. The first thing I recommend is that you get a space where you can really spread out all over, okay? Make sure that you have your bear close by. And I would recommend spreading out all of your uppercase letters and then all of your lowercase letters. All right, and what I'd like you to do is teach your foreign exchange student how to match uppercase letters with lowercase letters. So if I were doing this, I would show Lammy. Lammy, this is letter A in uppercase. And Lammy, this is A in lowercase. So they go together they are a match. So I put them aside. Then I would do the same for B. I would find the uppercase B and the lowercase B. I would make sure that Lammy sees them and knows them. Do you know these, Lammy? Nope. Okay. Then we match them together and put them aside. The matching of uppercase and lowercase letters is a game I'd really love for you to play today with your foreign exchange student, okay? You're in charge and you really need to help be their teacher, all right? Now, if you master that game and you're really good at it, and let's just say that you have a bear that is like great at the alphabet and recognizing uppercase and lowercase letters, I have something that you can do to make this game a little more challenging. Take a couple of your matches, like for example, A's, B's, and C's. Okay, A, B's, and C's. Okay, and you can mix them up. Okay, like this, mix them all up. Mix, mix, mix. Take several matches. You could, here I have three matches, the A's, B's, and C's, but you could even add in D's and E's to make it even harder. Now I'm gonna mix all these up and now watch. I'm going to set them down in front of Lammy, just like this. Okay, now you can play a memory game by matching the uppercase and lowercase letters. So I might say, Lammy, you can go first. And I could put two over for Lammy. Uh-oh, Lammy. Lammy got upper lowercase a and lowercase c. Do these match, boys and girls? No. Good try, Lammy. Okay. Now it's my turn to go. I would put two over. <gasps> There's uppercase c. Hmm, where was that other lowercase c that I saw? Was it here? Nope. I have 
uppercase C and lowercase a. Are those a match? No, good try, Mrs. Cross. So you could keep going and take turns with your bear to make your matches. A memory game and a sorting game with your alphabet letters that you already have at home is a great way to not only have you practice your alphabet, but ensure that your foreign exchange student and maybe some other friends around your house know their alphabet too, okay? Keep up the great work, make sure that you do your games and enjoy your time with your foreign exchange students. So long.